Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. And today we're going to bring in this new champion, um, this, this new system. It's pretty quiet. We're talking about 50% quieter. Yeah, it sounds loud, but 50% quieter than the normal one. It's 20% lighter and it's up to 17 hours on the full charge. So it takes about 2.9 gallons of gas for 17 hours. And this one has 4,000 watts of power. It's pretty neat, pretty decent, and pretty quiet. One of the great machines I've been looking at right now for in case you're gonna travel, you have an RV, you gotta go certain places. I'm just letting you know how loud it is through this recording so you guys can see it. Now, it has an eco charge too, a cleaning way, it's more quiet, more slower, it only uses the power it needs to use. But like I said, it has 64 dBA of sound, up to 17 hours of charge on 2.9 gallons, which is not that bad. So if you guys are traveling this camping season, summer season's coming around, and you need a generator, maybe you want to take a look at this. Champion Global Power Equipment, that's what it's called. We're going to take a look at it closer. All right, what's the reason you got this one, Jimmy? The reason we got this one, because we need, the right. reason we got this Champion Global. What was the reason? The reason because we need 3,000 watts to use that AC on the RV. So it's pretty much using the RV, the AC on the RV. Yeah. That's what it is. Now, one important thing is that before you start this machine off, you got to turn on the actual fuel lines in here, right underneath here. You got to make sure they're on and it gives you instructions on stuff. And on top of that, you got to choke the machine first. There's a choke mechanism before you start putting it out and you got to turn it on on number one. It has to be on. So that's the only way you're gonna charge this sucker and turn it on. Instructions are very simple. It has a little handle here, really easy to drop. It has a stand. If you're not familiar, please follow the instructions, see the manual for more information. They go underneath. Yeah. And another important thing when you purchase this, buy an extra spark plug. Spark plug goes in this section right here just in case the first one runs out and you can't get this one on. And that's about it. So when you unbox it, you pretty much have to put it together, some of the parts, just the handle. And that's about it and the wheels. Now, if you're first time buying these machines, be careful. This fuel line, make sure it's nice and tight. Fuel goes on the top, all right? And always buy an extra spark plug, which goes in here. Let's go see some of the inside. Some of the stuff you could upgrade on this machine, tires, and, and the pull string. Here's a pull string here. All the power. Yeah. The machine is pretty neat. You gotta figure, configure all the buttons. Make sure all the buttons are you know what you're doing, what kind of voltage, because not all the buttons are gonna turn on the system. You just, if you want to use certain power, you would have to use certain things. Now, when you first buy it, you gotta fill in the oil on it, because of course it comes empty. The only oil this comes with is uh, only for lubrication purposes and traveling purposes. Do we do the hand one? Yeah, the choke is right here. That's yeah, the you're getting ready. Anyway. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Try now. Hold on, Jimmy. Ready? Choke it now. You gotta choke it oh, because okay. it is it was off. Yeah, okay. There we go. So this machine here. And then an equal mode, I put an equal mode right here. Yeah. So that's right, the equal the final yeah. yeah. So what's the difference of the equal? Just go. Let me move it. Let me see, just like that. This is when you pull the oil. Alright.
show you the setup to a generator. 